Hey, this is Ricky Kennerly. We're looking at the full-on bubble. I'm really liking the bubbles. Bubbles, just a little bubble of oxygen. They can do miracles for you and your, for your fish. But you got to decide for yourself if you're going to let that happen. So check out what I've done to increase the bubble opportunity in this aquarium. So stay tuned. And even if you don't like bubbles, you're going to like the colorful fish in this aquarium. So over here you see the outflow of my mountain filter. Basically I just let the water level go down a little bit lower than normal to create a lot of bubbles and it will make a lot of surface agitation and also some micro bubbles. It's something that's easy to do, you don't have to spend any money to do it and bam you got more bubbles. So that's just one thing I've done in this aquarium to increase the bubble opportunity to go full on bubble. Now let's look at the other side of the aquarium. Take a slow pan. If you look over here to the right, you're not watching the cool looking fish. There's another bubble opportunity. And I'll get a little better view of it just in a moment. Got two air stones going. Now let me show you what else I have going to get the bubble opportunity in this corner of the aquarium. Now if you look over here to the, the right where my finger is, I don't know if you can see it, there's my hand. There's actually, look at all the fish there really wanting some food. There's a power head here that's blowing the bubbles in the back of the aquarium. And in the back of the aquarium where the bubbles are coming up from the air stone, there's also another uh, circulator that's blowing the bubbles outward to the left side of the aquarium. This is produ producing a lot of bubble opportunity to go full on bubble. It's producing a lot of micro bubbles which you may not be able to see from your phone view but there's a lot of micro bubbles and there's a lot of myths about micro bubbles there's a lot of myths about bubbles in general on the internet don't believe what you read on all there is about bubbles there's always an agenda what one wants to sell what one wants you to believe there's always that agenda out there I'm just showing you what I'm doing to go full on bubble to have a bubble opportunity because bubbles produce oxygen, which the bubbles are oxygen, and basically they break down waste. They give your fish the, the necessary ingredient to live in the aquarium besides food. They have to have oxygen to breathe just like you and me. So having plenty of bubbles in your, your water is not a bad thing. It happens in nature. There's bubbles. You've been in the ocean. You've been in the, you know, the swimming pools. There's all there's always bubbles in the water. If you've gone to a creek, bubbles are everywhere. And they're not killing fish. You don't like go to some stream and go, oh, there's a fish death. They're all dead because of the bubbles. That doesn't happen. So take an opportunity to do some research. Ask your teacher about bubbles and oxygen in your aquarium. Ask your college professors. Ask some scientists. Ask some people who actually breed fish for a living or just for fun or has a lot of fish for years. What their take is on the bubbles before you come up with your decision on oxygen for the aquarium. It's kind of a given but there's a big agenda to go away from bubble producing uh, items in your aquarium just so other people can sell different products. So do your own research before you go full on bubble but you can tell by the activity in this aquarium just the really brilliant colors that these fish show that the full on bubble is not hurting them but sure definitely helping them be what they need to be. And it's a bubble opportunity waiting for you and me and for the fish. Till next time.